Let's play Zetus. I thought that I'd give the NES uh, game a try. Since it was my first experience with Zetus, let's go back and see if it holds up. Alright, well, my controller doesn't seem to be configured, so. And away we go. Much like the arcade version. Cool. Colors are a little more NES y. Sand is like pink. It's kind of weird. I don't think it looks pink on the video. Uh, less detail in general, but still everything. Most these enemies seem pretty familiar, and the placement seems pretty good also. It's a little crowded uh, top of the screen. These enemies are a little crowded together. Subsequently, my bomb arrows are closer. I'm not sure how the scoring compares. Oh, lost the soul. Only one left. Yikes. Yeah, that seems very familiar. This is pretty good. I'd say for an arcade port, this is pretty... It's pretty good. I remember I did use CVS. I must have played more of it than I remember. Because I used it in this video for my old account, which was NES Robot, which I lost because I just forgot the password, and I don't know, I could never get it emailed or whatever. So, But that was years ago, 8-Bit City. We'll continue to get videos. Maybe the old videos, if I can ever find them again. But whatever, they're online. Ironically, my old account has a lot more subscribers and shit. I guess I haven't really done much with the 8-Bit City one. And for those that don't know about 8-Bit City, it's a, just a video game review blog. I generally review classic games. I've been doing it for about four years now. You can go to the site, check it out there. Although it's more likely you're here because of the site. Although, I don't know, who has the patience to watch 60 minutes of Xevious gameplay? Clearly you do, and this probably isn't the first Xevious video you've watched on YouTube either. You might want to think about that. You're watching a lot of Xevious. It's okay. I've watched a lot of Xevious. What's worse, I've watched Xevious, I'm playing Xevious and recording it, and I'll probably end up watching these recordings at some point. Oh good, I got a solve illusion. To watch for mistakes, yeah, I mean, whatever. If I have the recordings, I may as well watch them at least once. Although I don't think I will ever play the NES version of this game, uh... It's not bad. But why? I just... I don't know. I'm not really seeing the point. I am going to try and kick this motherfucker's ass. He 
is not moving, so he is much actually easier uh, in the NES version. That's interesting. You know, even though I'm kind of tired of this, I'm going to keep pushing. And I'm not going to give up. I saw that death coming too. This is it. Last life. Oh! Gosh. That was tough. Alright, well. Luckily. We can now get into the arcade game. Alright, this is much nicer. You know, it's an interesting thing in the 80s with the, like, the arcade aspect ratio. If you watch the movie Total Recall, and maybe some other movies, I, I don't know, post if you know of any others, but I know Total Recall definitely, a lot of the monitors, if not all of them, uh, are vertical, like arcade machines. You know, and we've definitely gone more with widescreen, so I think it's interesting. Um, that people would even just consider vertical. I think from a cognitive perspective, the human mind is more prepared to like search a horizon, uh, search a generally two-dimensional plane, or a three-dimensional plane, but a very flat one, not a tall one. Like, you know, we don't look, we might look up, but more concerned with like getting a wide view than a tall view. There aren't many tall, tall things. There are buildings, but, you know, even buildings are only so tall. Whereas there's always a 360 degree horizon and stuff, usually. Unless you're in Kansas, or the desert. I've had a lot of fun playing Zuvius today. Even, this will be the last video, for sure. I don't think anyone needs more than an hour of Zuvius gameplay at this point. Although, if the future calls for more Zuvius gameplay, then, you know, that's what it's gonna have to be. There aren't many videos of Zuvius. I know there aren't many videos of Zuvius and Berserk and Frenzy. Um, there's some great games. I think Zuvius is probably a little more interesting to watch. Oh. Because it's less random. You can actually, I mean, it's, you can memorize it. I mean, the bullets are random. But, uh. And these things are random. Berserk is just an entirely different monster. Uh, it is brutal. Frenzy is less brutal. And, you know, no surprise. It's probably a little more fun, but damn, Berserk is fun. And, yeah, those are some of my favorite games. A lot of people really like the Robotron games, but, to be honest, it's kind of like... Robotron is the Radiant Silver Gun type game, and Robotron is just insane, and... I don't know. Maybe I just don't have the reflexes. I'm good. I mean, I've got some good scores over 
I say good, but like hundreds of thousands, but you know, damn, never a million or anything. There's a Robotron ma machine across the street. I can actually go walk and play Robotron if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I'm playing Xevious. And I realize, God, motherfucker! All right, sorry for, yeah. It's a multi-cab, and it might have CVS. I don't know. It has a lot of games, and I haven't really been too interested in CVS. I could see would be one that I would pass over in the arcade because I had it on the Namco collection. And I've never been particularly good at Xevious, so... Getting better, though. Alright. I did the number one mistake there, which was not be all the way back against the wall when this black thing starts appearing. Even though you have a graphic that appears to be two bullets, it's only one bullet, which is whoa. Alright. Here we go. Just kinda gotta wait. Oh fuck! Last life. Shit. This is it. I was looking on Twin Galaxies, I don't, I've uploaded two scores, they're garbage scores to Twin Galaxies, but um, yeah, I don't know, I think YouTube and stuff is more interesting. But anyway, I was looking on Twin Galaxies, and I noticed that their setting calls for hard, which, give it a try, you know, I'm not going to play it, because I played it for about three minutes and I had enough of it. Uh, I think normal is a well-balanced game. Hard. I don't know. I guess they enjoy that at Twin Galaxies. It seems a little unfair to have to play on hard. Okay. I'm just gonna put in random letters. Let's try this again. You know, I mentioned this on my blog, I probably mentioned it before, the music is just awful. I mean, you can justify liking the music, finding it interesting, but damn, it's just like noise, it's repeating. It's pretty bad. Kind of seizure-inducing, seizure almost, like, really awful. Um, shouldn't make allowances for that kind of, like, garbage in my opinion. Uh, I did, however, listen to the music for Xevious 3D G Plus, and it is fantastic. That's the kind of music I think Xevious calls for. Alright, got the boss. There. Little mini boss. Whoa, got swarmed there.
that's one thing that the NES version really doesn't capture, and it's kind of funny. You know, we make fun of people. We, I mean, old people who enjoy old school games, typically make fun of people who play games just for graphics, um, or even really get excited about graphics. But sometimes certain games have like an artistic charm, which is really what it's about. Um, you know, and CBS captures that, like the enemies. The little tops of them like open up to shoot out petlets. Everything's spinning, and I guess that was a cool effect in 1982. But um, other than that, they don't go too crazy with it, and so it's it's nice. It's like it's more realistic. It kind of reminds me of anime. Uh, like early anime, it's like not over the top because it doesn't. It's not inspired by all the things that were inspired by it, luckily. And when you think about it that way, it's really original and really something special. Ooh. I just sort of committed suicide there. Which is really unfortunate, because I really did not want to die in this section for the Let's Play. Maybe it launched me past it. No, it did not. I wish you could shoot the skyscrapers. That would be cool. I really like this system, though, of the one-hit kill. Kill everything with one hit, and... The bomb sort of functions as a melee, like a special attack. I don't know, it's cool. It's it's actually got more depth than just shoot everything with different weapons. Uh, you, know, you have two weapons. Two types of enemies, it's good. It's like Ikaruga worked, because it had you know, black and white, two types of attacks. Uh, Too complicated. It doesn't need to be complicated when all these bullets are flying around. Yay, that's another little mini boss. I think the other one's harder. This appears to be the area leading up to the boss. Let's see what's up. There are just bullets flying around everywhere. Oh, and I missed him. That's alright, I don't even care. If I can get the UFO... Mothership. I mean... Oh my god. Look at all these bullets. Fuck! Again. And again. And they have remade this Mothership in other... Previous games, I think in the 3D game. Kind of dying to play now. I'm afraid if I start playing it, though, I won't play this one anymore. Or that I'll just realize that this one's better and just come right back to it. So I'm going to save it for when I get really bored of Xevious. Which, knowing me, probably be about a week. Probably play it straight for a week. Now. Just, now. Oh, and I got him. But I died also. It's very Independence Day. Do I have to fight him again? Ah. Oh. Sweet. At least I did kill him. So basically just... Alright, well... We're going to finish the last slide.
Oh shit, and that's it. Well, 60,000, a shitty score by my current standard, still third place. Um, yikes. I'm uh, missing it up. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. This has been Let's Play uh, Xevious. Comment if you want to see more Xevious videos, we'll upload them. Also, thinking about as soon as I get some videos for the 3D version of Xevious, you should do that too. Because that game looks really fun. Um, yeah. Alright, I couldn't stop playing Sevius. And you know, looking at Solvalu, the 3D arcade game, which I probably do not intend on playing, but you never know. If I decide to do all things devious, I guess I will have to play it. Um, I mean, it looks like it inspired other things, like Star Fox, maybe. At least in a Japanese game designer's mind, Zevius much must have been very much in the forefront uh, when designing Star Fox. I don't know, I've never been a huge fan of Star Fox. Although, it has been 10 years since I've played the Super Nintendo version of Star Fox. I should probably go back and play that sometime. But why, when I had Zevius? Fuck, miss them both. Right. Tons of points. You're gonna miss shit in Xevious. You're just gonna miss shit. Ooh, ran into a plate again. These plates, man. They seem easy, but they're very distracting. What am I doing? Oh my god. Pay attention. Alright, that's it. We've I've had enough of this level. We are just going to have to kick its ass. Kick its ass. Come on, this is the end of the let's play. We gotta break the score. Tons of ships left. Tons of enemies.
Here we go. The motherfucking mothership. Oh! I suck at that mothership. We're going to take advantage of the death by getting as many points as possible. By trying not to miss any of these fuckers. Ah, like that one I just missed. I think it's like 800 points apiece. I'm gonna miss all of the, the rings and still get the... Ah, miss two. That guy comes back around so you can catch him. Alright, here we go. I think the black things give like a lot of points also. Oh. We officially have over an hour of Zebius video now. So, this is really a let's play. Uh, not just. Alright. Oh, that was stolen from me. Life to live, motherfucker. Oh, damn it. Oh, I really wanted to do better than that. Oh, well. More random letters. A little window liquor mixed in from Girl Talks All Day album. This is 8 Bit City. 